Today I'm going to show you how to install the top mount dinghy data system. Um, it's a very simple system, articulating arm, easily removed by pulling this one pin. The whole assembly slides right out. So let's get started. Alright guys, let's get started on the install. Um, you're going to receive a beautiful little box like this here. This is what you expect to receive. Everything is pre-assembled. All put together for you. And also there will be a weaver kit with that as well. Uh, so let's get started. Let's grab one of these here, pull it out. First thing you want to do is decide where you want to put it on the platform. Let's get rid of this box. Make some room. Sorry about the audio, I know it's a little echoey in here. But I'll do my best to speak up so you can hear me. So, I what I like to do is sit my dinghy next to the platform and kind of decide where it makes sense to have the arms. And that point there, put a little piece of tape where you want it. Let's get this one out of the way here. This is our drop down undermount setup. Um, we have three data systems right now and uh, we're just going to be making videos today. So, once you determine that this is the spot where you'd like to have it, you can place it on your platform. A little pin. You, you know, you want to make sure that it makes sense where it, where it articulates. It's okay to rest up against your platform, like you don't have to have it hanging right off the edge like this. It really doesn't make any difference. This little pin kind of goes in here and stops the arm articulating too much. So let's say somewhere around there. Um, what you're going to want to do at that point is look under your platform and make sure that where you're mounting it makes sense. Um, so let's get the little weaver plates out of the packaging. So it's kind of loose in there. Get a knife. All right. Let's cut that open. There's a plate. Here's the installation instructions. You may want to read through those if you'd like, or you could just watch this whole video. Alright, this is all the hardware you need in this little bundle here. They really do package this up really nicely. <laughs> Alright, I think I might have got into the bag with my knife a little bit. So, this is our base plate. The dab that slides into it, like so. So, we're going to line this up and decide where we want it. I like it right there. So, what I'm going to want to do now, like I said, is check underneath and make sure there's nothing interfering with where the bolts are going to go. There's going to be four bolt holes going through here. So, you're going to want to look at the distance from here, grab measuring tape measure from here and under your platform right about there and then see okay is there anything in the way am i you know is there a bracket or anything that's going to be a problem um our platform's clear as you can tell we made it just a plywood platform that we made to uh to demo all this so once we know where we want it we're ready to start so we'll just pull the arm out here put this aside for now and we can get ready to start drilling our holes. These are quarter inch bolts, so we are gonna use a quarter inch drill. We're gonna start our first hole, nice and easy. You don't need to push hard, just let it work its way through. Try to put it in as square as possible. And we're gonna just drop down a bolt, just like that, just for now. And we can continue. We want to make sure this is nice and square. Go to the opposite corner. And again, drop another bolt. And we're going to do that for the two other holes. So I'll fast forward to this. You don't have to watch. Okay. So, all right. Now that we have our holes drilled and our full four bolts go in there, we're all good. Um, there's one more hole we need to create. And it goes right at the bottom here. So we're gonna grab our pencil 
And we're going to go down there and make a little circle where that hole is located. There we go. It's not the best hole, not the best marker in the world, but let's get these bolts out of here. I don't need two hands for that. There we go. Now the hole that we're going to be drilling, this little cup has to sit in it. And the reason for that is when we put the little locking pin in there, it actually has to protrude past this. So this is for all provided in the kit. Um, for that I'm going to use a 5 8 spade drill bit. That's a little sucker there. And again, we're not going to press hard, we're going to let it do the work on uh, its own. Nice and easy. Another thing you want to do is you don't want to go too deep. So I'm going to do a visual on this and say, you know, that's determine how deep I need to go. And I'll just go a bit beyond that. All right. Test fit it. Make sure it goes down flush. And it does. So that's what we want to see. So now we're ready to put sealant on this because we don't want to leave these holes exposed like this because water will get into your platform and rot your platform if you leave it like this. So uh, let's get started on that. All right, I just took the air gun to everything, cleaned everything off. For that, you're gonna use marine caulking. Um, a 3M 5200 or 4200 works well. And you are just basically gonna seal that hole up. You get Go liberal with this. Uh, don't be cheap. You definitely don't want your platform to get water in it. So I'm just going to do a few holes so you can see what we're doing there just for demo purposes here. So we've got to butter it up pretty good. And it might be a little hard to press this in because it's going to lock a little bit, but you want to press it down as far as you can with that sealant gooping around it. You're going to do all four holes like that. And that's going to sit on top there. Perfect. So we're going to grab a rag right now. I'm just going to wipe the excess around. That doesn't make it best. All right, so let's get rid of all the extra here. And we can set our plate. Again, I didn't, I didn't put caulking in all holes because this is not really an install here. This is just a how-to video. And you're just going to want to press those in. It's pretty simple. I mean, there's not much, not much to do in this. And then you're just going to put a washer and a lock nut on the back side. So let's do that right now. Again, pretty straightforward. I'm not even going to bother showing you that because it's pretty simple. Use our Phillips screwdriver to hold that in place. Reach down here. You're going to want to make sure you have sealant on the back side of this bolt nut as well. And you just torque that down. So we're going to do that for the three other bolts. And I'm going to fast forward through that so you don't need to watch me do that. Let's save you some time here. All right, so we've gone and tightened up all our bolts. And now it's just time to wipe off the excess, the excess uh, caulking. Let's do a nice clean job on that. All the way around. Perfect. We're almost done, guys. It's, uh, it's really that easy. Now that we have our plate installed, we'll just simply slide this in here. And lock it down with the little uh, provided deadened pin. Push that down, and that's it, it can't come out. And then we're gonna loosen this bolt right here, this nut, and fasten this so we don't lose that little pin. We'll do that right now. I 
like it. Fa- I like the fasten this tight enough that the arm is snug inside the block, which is perfect right there. So there we go, guys. There's our davit system. Locks in place. Get a better look of it here. Pull that out. Articulates. Very simple. Very clean. You get to a beach somewhere. Pull that pin out. Slides right out. And uh, that's it. Well guys, I hope you found that informative and that this is going to help you install your own davit on your own boat. 